Hello friends, so in today's video we will see how to solve internet issue on a WSL machine if you are running over a VPN. So sometimes you know on a VPN or in the office laptop or the corporate laptop, uh, we usually have VPNs and there sometimes the internet doesn't work from your uh, WSL machine. So in that case, uh, how to enable or how to access internet in case we are on a VPN and we are not able to access the internet. So uh, this is my Ubuntu machine which is running uh, inside the WS Windows subsystem for Linux. So first to check whether the internet I am able to access uh, the internet from my machine or not, I will ping www.google.com. So if I'm able to successfully uh, ping uh, the google.com or any other website, so right now I'm able to successfully ping since I'm not on a VPN and I'm running my WSL on my personal laptop. So I'm able to access the internet. So if you are not able to get success response from you know the ping command, okay. so what you can do is you can on the browser, you can search uh, WSL VPN kit. Okay. So you can go to the GitHub link of uh, WSL VPN kit. And what it says is that uh, before setting up a WSL VPN kit, check if a DNS server change may be enough to get connectivity by pinging a public IP address from WSL2. If that works, follow the steps in this uh, this URL. So it gives some steps to uh, you know to run and to update the resolve.conf file. Okay. So what it says is that if you are able to you know, ping the IP address, you are not able to ping the DNS or this uh, you know, www.google.com, but you are able to ping the IP address. If this is working, then we need to follow these steps which is mentioned in this uh, URL. But if it doesn't work, if it doesn't work, then we need to use this uh, WSL VPN kit to access the internet. So what you can do is you can download wslvpnkit.r. Okay. So from this link you can actually download it. Uh, so I've already downloaded it, and I have placed it in my home directory. So I've already downloaded it. Okay. So currently I have a Ubuntu machine running. So once I have downloaded it and placed in the home directory or whichever directory we prefer, from that directory we need to run this command. So this command will actually import the WSL VPN kit. So I am importing the WSL VPN kit. Okay. Now I will run WSL hyphen L hyphen B to list the WSL machines. So now I can see WSL VPN kit here and it is in a stopped uh, state. So to run the VPN kit, WSL VPN kit, I will run this command okay, in my PowerShell. Okay, so it is it started the WSL VPN kit, and if I do WSL hyphen L hyphen V, uh, now my both uh, Ubuntu and WSL VPN kit both are running fine. Okay, both are in running state. Now, if you try to access, you will be able to access it. Since I was already able to access it, I was not on a VPN, so it doesn't matter to me. I will still be able to in this google.com but if uh, you are on a vpn and earlier you were not able to uh, ping google.com or any other site you know once once you start the vpn kit and then when you will try you will be successfully able to uh, run the or successfully able to 
access the internet now every time you need to you know access uh, the internet from wsl you need to first run this command to start the vpn kit and then you need to and then only you can access the uh, internet but if you want that you know it should be started automatically whenever you start your uh, uh, your uh, machine or your ubuntu or linux machine so what you can do is you can follow these steps uh, setup system d this this step this is actually this creates a script so you can just run this script and uh, it will start the second way is you can do uh, a uh, you can set up a system name so you need to from you know you are from inside the ubuntu machine you need to run these commands okay so this this will create a, actually a wsl vpn kit service okay and when uh, you will uh, enable the service and start the service from next time onwards whenever you will be starting the ubuntu this vpn kit will be automatically started and will be in running state you don't need to explicitly run this command to start the vpn so this way you can solve the internet issue if you are having uh, in case you are on a vpn thank you